Hey, I'm Dave, and on today's episode of TRP Tech Talk, I'm gonna show you how to lube and exercise your pistons. Here's the tools that you're gonna need. Clean paper towels, assorted Allen wrenches, piston pusher, TRP mineral oil, cotton swabs, isopropyl alcohol, and nitrile gloves. So what is a piston lube and exercise? Well, it's simply lubing the external side of the piston with the same mineral oil that's inside the system. What's the exercise? Pushing that piston in and out multiple times to work that lube in. Now, why do we need to do this? Well, sometimes a new system, the pistons aren't actuating evenly. Maybe one is stuck because the tolerances are quite tight. So this helps break the system in. Other times, if the system is used dirty or gritty, you can clean the system out, lube those pistons, and again, get all four of your pistons to actuate evenly. So let's jump into it. So I've already removed the caliper from the bike, and I've also removed the brake pads to get to these pistons. So the next step is to clean it. Now we wanna do this to remove any of that dirt and grime that might be in there so that it doesn't get trapped between the piston and the seal. So using your isopropyl alcohol and a cotton swab, wet the tip of the cotton swab and start to clean the inside of the caliper. Now make sure to get all the nooks and crannies and definitely make sure to get the 360 degrees around each piston. And if you need to, get it from the top side as well. Now once you feel that this is clean and it may not take just one cotton swab, you may go through a few to get it adequately clean, then you're ready for the piston exposure and lubing procedure. So in order to get the pistons to expose themselves, we're gonna need to use a piston pusher, a tire lever, or potentially a bleed block with a section cut out to expose the problematic piston. So holding that piston pusher with one hand and also the caliper, uh, we're gonna make, we're gonna gently push this lever to expose the easily moving pistons and I can instantly see that the outboard rear piston is the one that's sticking. So we're gonna use the same piston pusher, push these guys that did expose themselves, the other pistons, back into their housings, and then I'm gonna use this and leverage it against the caliper to get the problematic piston to expose itself. Now, this can be a little tricky, you may need to kind of uh, hold the piston pusher in, a, in an awkward angle, but just make sure that you don't expose the pistons too much. Now this is very important. Don't expose that piston more than three millimeters. It could potentially pop all the way out of there and then fluid's just gonna go everywhere. That's gonna make a giant mess. We don't want that. So I've got this problematic piston to expose itself just about two, three millimeters or so. So now we can uh, move on to the lubing procedure. So again, with a clean cotton swab and our TRP mineral oil, the same oil that's inside the system, and dip your cotton swab into the mineral oil. You don't need excess, you just need enough to lube the sides of the pistons that are exposed. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and again, do all 360 degrees of the pistons, make sure to get all those surfaces. And you might pick up a little extra dirt in there as well. If you do see some more dirt and you think you need to go back to the cleaning procedure with the isopropyl, isopropyl that is totally fine. And now I've got these pistons nice and lubed up. So we're moving on to the exercise procedure. So this is pushing the piston in, pushing it back out. And again, be careful to not expose the pistons too much. You don't want one of them falling out of the caliper. So I'm gonna push these pistons back in first. And once again, holding that piston pusher and gently pulling the lever, you can get those pistons to expose themselves. Then I'm gonna push them back in and do it one more time. Now this procedure, the exercising, can be done multiple times. It may not take one or two exercises. It could be a dozen. So do it until you start feeling all four pistons moving nice and freely, and you know that the caliper is actuating correctly. Now once you've got that caliper feeling nice and good, this one's looking really well, we're gonna go and clean that excess isopropyl alcohol out of the caliper. So I like to use a rag and a spray bottle of isopropyl alcohol and we can spray inside the caliper and uh, clean all that excess mineral oil. Now my pistons are, are all the way pushed back into the housings now, so I'm not getting alcohol inside of them or on the seals or anything. And you can even kind of floss the caliper 
and get that excess mineral oil out. Now, this is all cleaned up and it's ready to be put back on the bike, the pads installed, and then you'll be ready to ride with a fresh feeling brake. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If there's any questions, feel free to hit up our customer service team. And for more content like this, check out our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we hope to catch you around here next time.